We're here at the 13th edition of the Antigua for it. And today we're having a conversation with Adrian Lewis, founder and president of Care Portal. Adrian, thank you for being here today. Good morning. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your background? Sure. Uh, well, I was a businessman for a long time, many, many years. I love to build companies and to see a product or service make a difference in the world. And when I was about 32 years old, I had a chance to go on a mission trip to Haiti. My wife and I went, and I would just say that God used that trip to completely change how we saw the world. And that purpose led us to start uh, caring for orphans in a God-sized way. That purpose led us to make very radical decisions for our life that was much bigger than us. And ultimately, it led us to leave my business and to join the ministry that we went to Haiti with. Along our way, we made many amazing journeys and we saw many things that were very hard, but we also saw things that were very inspiring. And one of the things that inspired us was to bring kids into our own home who had no family. And so we became uh, foster parents in the United States. Foster parents are parents who can bring kids in for a short period of time, and sometimes they, they go back, and sometimes they stay forever. And so it is such a joy that I say my, my wife and I now have six kids, three of them we adopted through the foster care process. I would say being an adoptive dad is the most transformative thing that has happened in my life. And I am thrilled how God has used that to begin to change many things, including how Care Portal became a thing in the first place. So Adrian, can you describe Care Portal and its main objective? It's actually a very simple concept. Uh, we are not inventing something new. We're really just trying to bring something back into the culture in America that is, is missing now. And so Care Portal is a connecting technology and it connects people who are in crisis with churches and businesses and people who care in proximity, close by them. We use the technology to make the connections. And at the end of the day, it's really about how do we help make a connection? We use the moment of crisis as a doorway to establish a connection. And that connection has the opportunity to be, well, transformational. People live in community. They need a community and care portal is a way to get there. What did you observe or notice that you're like, okay, people need help or technology to connect better to for care sharing? Well, to be honest, uh, it was, it was not my idea. What we were trying to do in the United States was to help local churches adopt vulnerable children. And so many churches said, we're, that's a great idea, but it's not for us. And so after two years of trying this, literally one day I'm sitting down and I'm reading a document that summarized our journey for two years. We failed. And in the midst of reading that document, God just gave me the vision for how to make this connection happen using technology. It wasn't an idea that we were trying to say, let's go solve the problem this way. It was really us falling forward into doing something that, well, it's just our assignment. And here we are, eight years later, there's over 300,000 people, 300,000 people who have been seen and served by local churches and communities connected by CarePort. It's amazing. What challenges did you start running into with Care Portal that you thought maybe I should take this project to the Antigua Forum? It's a great question. Uh, and I'm so excited that I'm here. I mean, it has exceeded my expectations, my experience here. I came in with uh, a very big idea. We have success in over eight years of, of growing this and it's working in many places in the country. But to go from where it is now to be mainstream, to be in a position where, like I said, care sharing is as ubiquitous as ride sharing. To be in a place where every faith community says, of course we have our care sharing platform. And for us to go from where we are to that requires 
intellect and creativity and, and ownership beyond our, my own capabilities and my team's capabilities. We need brain trust to engage us with this. And so what better place to do that than Antigua Forum? Describe a little bit of your experience here. Mm, from the very beginning, before I even arrived, the process to prepare for this was excellent. Extreme intentionality. And every step of the way while I was here, there was nothing that was done without being thought through. While at the same time, allowing room for this, what do you say, spontaneous order, right? And so the process made me feel very confident that I could trust what was happening before me. And so at the end of the whole process, we ended up with one viable idea, one idea that could crack the code for how we go from being a very good thing to a mainstream thing. How do we go from being something that many people know about to everyone expects, right? Adrian, what are some of your reflections and takeaways after all this process you've been through even before this weekend in Antigua? I think I'm leaving as a better leader than I came because I've had the opportunity in a, in a short window, a very intense opportunity to practice being patient in the process, to practice listening very intently and not thinking that uh, it has to be a certain way. And in my day-to-day -day life as a leader, I don't always sit in that posture. I'm making decisions. I'm moving things along. I'm, I'm getting to an outcome. But many times there's an opportunity to, to sit in something and be patient in the process and see what happens. And I really want to take that home with me, you know? And if I do that well, I will be a more effective leader. Where can somebody find this portal and how can they learn more or start using it? Yeah, uh, simple, careportal.org. And everything you need, whether you're a church or a business or social services or just an individual, everything you need to understand, how can you play a part in this big care sharing network and what's happening in your city? Everything you need to figure that out is there and you can and join the network and my people will reach out to you and you can start making a difference. So Adrian, what invitation would you like to extend to people watching this interview? If you are an investor, if you are an investor who is looking for a way to make a real difference that can have a ripple effect across the world, I can't imagine a better way than investing in Antigua Forum because not just the projects themselves, but the people that come here from all over the place to be the brain trust, there is an opportunity for scale investing in this one thing. I think it's a beautiful opportunity. Thank you for speaking with us today and thank you for coming to the Antigua Forum. My pleasure. Thank you for the invite.